Well, greetings. I just received a uh, a new Fun Cube dongle Pro Plus here, and uh, I had been using a LP pan and uh, an EMU 0204 sound card with my uh, system here. I'm, I'm running a K3 uh, transceiver. I'm feeding the IF out of the back of the K3, formerly going into the, L the LP pan. I thought, well, let's try the, the, the fun cube, see how it works with NAP3. So we got the fun cube, and this is this is him right here. There's not much to it. There's your USB, it comes from your, your computer. I'm running uh, Windows 8.1. Um, the computer has, uh, let's got a uh, an Intel L7 with uh, 12, 12 gig of RAM. Pretty well loaded up. Little SMA connector coming out of the fun cube here. I've got a BNC to SMA adapter. And then this goes to your K3, your BNC cable. That's all there is to it. Took the LP pan out. The EMU external USB is gone. And that's what we're left with. And it, it works just exactly the same. Maybe a little better in some regards. I'll let you look the screen over here. You'll see that everything looks pretty much the same as it does with an LP pan. And it works great. Now, here's how we set it up. First, go to the website for FunCube, www.funcubedongle.com. Go to the download page and you select from the download page um, the the um, fun the fun cube plus frequency control program let me see if I can get this over here on the other screen so you can see it there's the web page and if you look down here you can see this right here the FCD plus frequency control program executable you run that and just store it in a file and in a folder until you're ready to use it. And then take your uh, FunCube dongle and plug it into your USB port. It will automatically load the, the drivers that it needs. And then next you're going to want to run that little program that we downloaded. And um, it took me a few times to get it right, but um, Let's see if I can uh, bring this up for you and you can take a look at what happens when you do run this. Alright, here is what you get. And right over here in this area it says uh, HID open the video success, FCD found, success, I like that, success, success, all over the place here. So that's great. And really all I needed to do was um, click on set defaults. And that kind of sets everything back to square one. That's what you want to do. <clears throat> and you're done. You just exit that. And then um, bring up uh, NAP3 and go into the configuration. Let's see if I can get this up here for you. Click on the configuration tab, and there we have the configuration screen. Um, go to the first tab, the the input tab, and this is what we see: the device and the sound card. We're going to work on those two. Uh, the device, you'll see that when you drop it down, you'll see that the FunCube dongle Pro Plus shows up. It didn't show up before, but, but once you plug the, the dongle in, it'll show up. And um, your sample rate, I just went ahead and set that to 19.2. It gives me maximum uh, 
bandwidth. And uh, the cow brake gain, it came in at a default, minus 25, so I just left it there. The swap IQ is off, not checked. And then click on uh, configure. And this is where you have to make a correction in frequency because when you when you get this thing set up you'll find that your uh, your frequency on the uh, NAP3 screen does not match what the K3 is and you have to enter a correction and so this is where the correction goes and your IF frequency goes right here you want to put in 8215000 I think it puts that in for you but just in case that's where it goes and that's in cycles or hertz <laughs> okay I have got the mixer gain turned off because I found that the fun cube was being overloaded at night on 75 meters so I turned that off and that uh, calmed it down so it works great now um, my frequency correction error I had to put in minus 743 and I just did that by experiment until I got them both the same. It was super easy once you get the hang of it. You can start out at uh, like 100 or minus 100 and see which way it goes and then just gradually increase it. Um, I used uh, 10 megahertz and I set it to WWV and I got it just exactly right that way. And then once you get it, uh, finished you can just close that then go over here to your sound card settings your driver should be on MME your input you drop down here and you find the uh, the fun cube dongle and you bring that up choose that and then your output would be the internal sound card or whatever sound card you want to use that's the output for the uh, the speakers so, um, then you got to have your DC block checked. Now, if you have trouble with dropouts and clicks and things, you can click on this Add Latency, and uh, they recommend a, uh, a 25 millisecond latency. I'm not having any problems with this computer with latency, and I, it's the fastest I've ever seen uh, in, in response. So. It's really working great. Um, also, my CPU time has decreased. Uh, I'm down to you know, like 4.95%. Uh, so that's that's much better than it was. It was up around 10. Uh, for VAC now, you don't need any. Uh, you just turn that off and uh, just leave it off because your uh, Fun Cube has its own sound card built in and uh, your audio is going to go into your internal sound card in your PC and right out the speakers. So it just makes everything a lot neater and cleaner. All right. Um, I believe that's about all there is to setting it up. And we can just kind of listen around for a second. Well, I actually took two days off in a row. I got one Now we're listening to the uh, we're listening to the fun cube SDR K3 is turned all the way down Yeah, but if I don't if I don't turn in Let me switch to the K3 Starts yelling at me There's the K3 Well, that's what computers are for yelling at people If I want, I can listen to both but you get a little bit of a delay a little bit of latency there in the computer, but not not really as much as it was before. So, uh, so there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, this is NAP3, and we're running uh, the FunCube Pro Plus dongle and an LCraft K3 transceiver. Thanks for watching.